Happy Christmas everyone. I hope that you are having an amazing Christmas from us here at the Hills Church. We just wanted to wish you a very happy Christmas. Hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe, hope you're warm right now and above all you know what I hope you're eating way too much food. Hey, Christmas is a time of year where we as Christians all over the world come to celebrate the birth of Jesus and that is exactly what we want to do today. Chapter 2 we understand and we read in Luke chapter 2 that Jesus is now born in a manger and in a stable. And we just wanted to take a little minute to share a small thought about Christmas and what that means to us and how that can, can encourage us this Christmas. Hey, I don't know about your house, but I, I, know, I know in my house, my kids sometimes spend more time playing with the box than they actually do with the toy itself. I, I remember being a kid and I used to make forts out of the boxes and play with the boxes and make trains out of them and often sometimes we played more with the boxes than we did the toys. And then all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're an adult and we realize that in life, you know what, it isn't so much about the value of what we have, it's actually how we value what we have. And the kids demonstrate that to us when they show us about how they're not so much concerned about the valuable toy, rather the crack they're going to have with the box that it came in. Hey, this is the thought that we have this Christmas though, when we think about the birth of Jesus, he's come to earth to be one of us, to understand how we would live and to be what to be among us, the scripture says, and to live a life that, that he would understand us. And Jesus is a tangible person. And he, here's a thought I want to share though. In life, it's not so much about the value of the thing you have or the stuff you have or whatever you have. It's actually more important about how you value what you have. This Christmas, as we sit around in our homes, and for some of us, we've got plenty, and for some of, us, some of us we have lack. Can I encourage you to think more about how you value what you have than the value of what you have. You know we come to look at Jesus' life and I think it's more important how we choose to value this person that's called Jesus rather than the value himself. Jesus is the hope of the world. He's came, he came to be among us. He died and he rose again and he loves everlasting. And I think for us it's, it's important that not to grasp that not everyone caught on that this Jesus came in a simple manger and a simple barn in the literally middle of nowhere. It was what the, there was a decision that had to be made that were we going to choose to not look at the value because if it was based on the value of where he was born well maybe it wasn't just stacked up to culture in that time. Well I think it's more important about how we look at to look at the value of how we value that person rather than the value itself. And, and when we look at Jesus, the more that we value him and the more we value something, well, the more that we get out of that. So I hope this Christmas that whatever you are surrounded by or who, I would encourage you to think about maybe not so much the stuff, but hey, maybe actually in life, it's more important about who that we're around, how much we value people that are around us, how much we value our friends and our family and maybe it's a time where we can shoot them a message to say hey we value you, we, we love you, thank you, all of the above. Because sometimes it's not about what we have around us. In fact, it's actually really important to remember the value of what the things and the people around us. And I would encourage you to say that you know what, that you are valued, that Jesus came to for me and he came for you. This Christmas Jesus values me and he values you. So the question I is though, is do you value him? And I would say that, you know what, the more that you value him, the more that you're going to get out of your relationship with Jesus. And I love that as I close this thought, that Jesus is not about a religion. He's about a relationship with me and you. And he cares about you and he cares about I. So hey, I hope that you have, or are, sorry, are having an incredible Christmas. I hope that you continue to have a great Christmas and an incredible new year. God bless you and Merry Christmas.